to delay the game. You know, you got this Tinker, you got this Medusa, you've got some really, really good late game going on. And then Team Dyer are just going to be running at you nonstop. They have really strong lanes, a lot of sustain. They're not really the best at hitting towers, but at the very least, they can sustain their push for long periods of time. Right. Well, we already have a uh, little bit of a dust up here in the jungle. Solo's got eyes on the room. Looks like he's going to chase the Holy Knight away. Down at bottom, S4, rock of the stand in tap. But, uh, but yeah, uh, you know, it's been so long, man, not just since you and I cast, it's since I've been on the mic. Talk to me a little bit about what you really want to see. I mean, it's an all-star match, so it's not just about a win. It's about going out and getting a little swag point to your name, right? I think the most important thing for me is just seeing the reaction to the players. You know, yeah. Seeing them smile, oh seeing them look at the monitor and just, like, Find me someone who looks like that at a monitor, and I'll tell you they love Dota. You know what I yeah. mean? That, that's the kind of stuff that I like to see. Really high skill plays. I mean, we're getting cheers for like missed creep kills. <laughs> coming out as well. Oh yeah, the people who are tuned in right now are absolutely locked into every single deny, every single last hit. And uh, you know, justifiably, it's all fan favorites, right? Ten best in the world. It's kind of shaping up here. Gonna see the, the Tinker versus the Necro mid. Still got Solo kind of hanging around, throwing out the, the Drunken Haze. Yep. Universe trying to get some farm here on the Abaddon. So you mail on the Shaker, and Kuro just going to work here in the jungle. So, would imagine, you know, we're only a minute in, but Kuro getting active on the Gen, most likely going to be when we start to see really the action kick off. That's what I would kind of assume. He's already making his way across the river right now. Probably going to head towards top. Just see if he can do anything here at the Universe. They got a deep ward in the jungle as well. And Boba Fett's still dealing with this 2v1 in the mid lane. So Boboka trying to hang on, but yeah, I mean, you know, when I look at these lanes, it does seem like there's going to be a lot of movement. It looks like Kuro might be wanting to make that happen sooner rather than later. He's going to show his face. Universe spots it out. Sumail, yeah, just going to chase him back under the tower. I think Sumail is in his happy place right now. You saw in the beginning when he made that uh, gesture towards Universe. Yeah. He was coming for him. We hear a little chatter from the, from the players, or is going to be a smoke gank on the way? Letting Boboka no helps on the way. They're going to spot Solo, or Solo will spot them, depending on how you want to phrase it. Zumail on the high ground, looking to join in. Yep, there we go. First blood goes to the fan favorite Boboka. Yeah, GG. We're done. Oh, hang on. Good block from Zumail. No tail, trying to make his way down the river. And it looks like, yes, they're going to get it from the high ground. Kuro, with the help of the Seder, makes it 2-0 in favor of Team Radiant. From downtown, look at <laughs> not hitting the well, didn't even matter. They're 2 0 in a hurry. And yeah, we can hear the chatter again. Let's see if we can listen in. We can hear high APM for this game. Mostly it's just furious Dota clicking. <laughs> exactly. You know, some obscenities randomly being thrown out. Yeah. Typical game of Dota. I was going to say, I'm not hearing enough pings. Maybe I should spend some of those APM on pings just to make sure everyone's nice and really good. I don't think I've ever seen a. a maybe I have seen Miracle Wisp before, just not too often. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, you're not exactly what you uh, would think of whenever you think of Miracle, though he is rocking the absolutely dope skin. Soon now, uh, being going to be chased away. They're just going to leave him. Uh, for now, the big story here is Medusa getting pretty much complete free farm. Yep. Yeah. Well, is this the kind of game you think that's really going to, to go long enough, you know, given it's going to be some high risk, high risk? Board play. You think we're actually going to see the Medusa get farmed? Oh, speaking of, Universe taking big risks hanging around. There's Miracle ready to join back up. Ramsey is going to be chased down, and yeah, they're going to catch him to a little oh. bit of damage. Universe so low, and now Ramsey's oh, going to turn it around. Miracle barely able to make it back to the safety of his own tower, and Ramsey He's says hell with it. That's what a shield's for. Universe is going to try to bang it away with some help from the tower as well, but yeah, there's a Mystic Snake, and we're good, bro. Now Ramsey's going for the big play here. He's getting chased down by Universe, though. Solo making his way there. He's going to try to juke in the woods. Solo says, not nah, found you, bro. Standing ovation, and oh, the shield not enough. So we see finally Team Dyer make their way onto the board. Clutch kill, though, as you said, the Medusa was getting free for him, shutting her down. Kind of a big deal. Uh, Team Dyer really want to do a lot more during the laning phase. It's pretty difficult, though, with the Chen kind of moving around the map. The longer the Dusa gets farmed, you know, S4 is sitting down here in the safe lane. Well, doing pretty good on the CS, 17 and 3. Wants his blink. These heroes not only do Team Dyer have to push, but they have to be doing better in the lanes as well. Right now, taking a look at the CS, we can see the Necros not that far off the of Deuce, especially after that death. And that Ogre is actually kind of farming up a lot for an Ogre. He's got 20 CS now in second position. Bobaka coming down for the gank. Might be a little bit too fast. Yeah, looks like he'll make it back. 
This is the, the classic roaming tinker at level 5. You see it <laughs> yes. all the time. Yeah, the, the, the pub tinker. You mean the one that ruins my game, whether it's on my team or the other? Because oh, that Bob Boba guy in trouble. Miracle taking a lot of damage. He'll drop to S4. And now Bobo drops the GG trees, trying to find some safety, and he will be able to heal himself back up. Got to take a stun in the mouth as Kaka's being blocked by S4. The damage just not enough against that tanky, tanky Ogre Magi. Now Miracle's going to join the fray. Laser's there. They'll do a little bit of damage, but right now, no more. More of a dance with the GG trees getting the hype from the crowd. Looks like everyone's going to make it away with nothing but a few little scratches here and there. Probably the most high value branches ever in this game. <laughs> Two blocks back to back. And so, Kaka can He's got nine stacks, ten now. Yeah. They're, they could chase they it. They're going to go for it? I think he should with ten stacks. There we go. The charges are using to turn and stun him. Can he get it? s is taking a lot of damage. You know what? Oh! Kaka stays alive with the help of Miracle. Middle lane. Sumail's got mana here looking for a block. There's the block. No tail. Him, Den. And yeah, they're going to bring him down without a whole lot of muscle. Plus, we'll get off. The heal, but not enough in time. Solo rotates in. So, all right, that's yeah. <laughs> Who tries in an all-star game? We do, and they do. That's right. Who cares about 20 grand, right? Yeah, you know, 23 million on the line. Yeah, you know, whatever. Oh, there we go. Oh, very nice cancel on the stun. The centaur thought about it, reared back, and ends up timing it better just to chain him up. So seven to two now. Team Radiant off to a blazing start. So just to paint a picture of how Team Dyer's game is supposed to be going, not like this. Uh, you like think? The complete opposite of what is happening right now. See, they, the, the All-Star game is always built as a pub game, and every game I'm in is 7 to 2. Someone's already abandoned, so I'm just waiting for someone to come bursting out of the booth. I mean, they're playing against a Tinker and a Medusa, and you've got a bunch of Mythic Cores Necro. Like, how, <laughs> how are you going to hit a tower? <laughs> Very slowly and carefully after you've killed everyone. I'm, I'm going to guess that's probably the point. Net worth, we can see the dude. On top, again, the story, the Ogre sitting at second place ahead of the Tinker even. Bat's doing okay. And then kind of a grab bag there. A lot of evenly distributed farm. And now we're going to have a tween tower dive as Sumail looks for Universe, Universe, and now makes it back to safety. Well, they want the turnaround. Kaka coming in. Sumail uses the enchant totem. Solo looking to catch him with the clap. He does. Sumail, the only one slow. There we go. There's going to be enchant totem again. Sitar's there. Stunned up as Universe doesn't matter. They've already dropped one in the Earth Shaker, trying to follow it up. Kaka with that tanky Ogre Magi just continuing to harass and Harry Kuro. Sitar not enough to really help stop the pursuit. These are some tanky heroes gonna go for the Okie Doke. Loops around. Ramses is there now. A lot of low heroes on the team on the side of Team Dyer. Kuro sitting on no HP. And he'll drop as well. There's the follow! Sudden answer. That fight lasted so long that Sumail respawned and TP to the tower. <laughs> they do not look like they're done yet. Now we got 13 kills in 8 minutes. I'd say that's about what you'd expect out of an All-Star game. I mean, you can basically do the burst. Oh. What's the man up? Oh, so, Ramsey's like, nah, bro, I'm good. Here we go. Following up, a lot of damage done. Miracle trying to make it back to safety, but yeah, nothing but wrong hats all around and no tail, not in any better shape. And that's going to be suddenly a much bigger league for Radiant. We can see the spans coming out. 12 to 4. Tier 1 could be the next target. We're going to get to watch this Fissure coming in. Sumail, level 5. Hits them both with a Tornado and a Centaur Creep on it. All smiles here. Even though Team Die are a little bit on the, the losing end at the moment. You know, still a lot of Dota to be played here. Universe back up and ready to punch. Sumail's not about to back off on the pressure on his teammate. It's with the Fissure, and yeah, we've got to have a four... Yeah, God, looks like they're thinking about a four-man dive. Kaka shows the face, he's the target now. He's going to be flame broken back. Trying he's got like Lasso. Uh, not long enough on that Lasso. Multicast, of course it is, whenever you're hanging out between tier one and two. As for now, the target, no tails there. Great Fissure from off the map. And it doesn't matter, the Reaper side cuts him down. Sumail there to answer them. First showcase of the Echo, getting a <laughs> kill on a Necro, not too bad. Still though, the aggression coming out from Team Radiant, they know what their game plan is. They just want to try to force Team Dyer basically to move around the map. Solo's only level 4 right now, he really wants that level 6 for his primal split so he can actually contribute during these fights. We go stun out on Sumail, there's another Fissure, Miracle's actually, nah, he could slide by, so. Roshi ain't gonna... This has got to be like the most kills I think I've seen in, a, in an all-star game at this stage in the game. Ah, two a minute. Not too bad. Universe continues to flirt with disaster. He's very, very low. And 
Ramsey just continues to farm. Now hopping net worth and beginning to open up really a considerable lead at 700 net worth bonus and second place and third are his own teammates. There's a stun that's going to catch Kakab. Follow up from Miracle. Can they keep him alive? Universe is there and the Seder throws out the ball but not enough. Still just so much pressure from Team Radiant. They are not letting this up. Solo actually going to get Solo killed in the bottom lane by Escor. You the lasso for that one. S4 bats pretty good last I heard, and here we go, another stun. That's gonna end up catching Kuro. Kuro drops once again. And this this dire side jungles nothing but a bloody battleground the entire first uh, first part of this game. There's not really a lot I think that Team Dire can do outside of just wait for the level six. Okay, Solo's got foot now. This could be the time here for Dire. There we go. Ramses would be the, the prime target if they could catch him. Kaka's there, holds, and yeah, it looks like they're not going to. Give too much chase. Kuro's creeps are there to help out if needed. So for now, hanging on to that brew ult. They just need to find one or two good engagements, get themselves a couple of kills, try to get some core items up. They really benefit from things like mechanism, any sort of healing really when you have a Necro, Abaddon, and a, a Wisp combination together. You're really looking for that sustain. Uh, Kuro still in position. Universe trying to deny his own tower. Ramsey says, no, that's my goal. Thank you. God, he's so far. <laughs> <laughs> that was and it looks like they're not a brute team ready to let up. I mean, again, ranked. the brute ulti is ready to go. Should be a moment sometime in the near future where we're going to see Team Dire ready to take oh, five for this one. And oh, that that could be a recite. Got him just on the edge of the shoulder. Very nicely done there, saving it to make sure that Boloka couldn't be the only one. With. Team, uh, Team Radiant having these he heavy momentum heroes in the chin, and then of course the Tinker. You know, 14 to 7. This is the kind of game that he could be in danger of running away with, especially as the Manusa yeah, continues yeah, to get yeah. up. That looks like the mid play can aid that. Ramsey's taking force to spend a lot of mana here. Looks like he will be okay. Ramsey's, yep, trying to turn around. Bottom tower. Dota right there. That's yeah, I think, that's, I think that's our cue. <laughs> yeah, that's bottom tower. You gotta love those moments. So, Mel really just wants to kill Universe more than anything. Yeah, I, I've kind of noticed that everywhere Universe he just, goes. He keeps sitting in the lane. You know? Yeah, uh, he's not back at all. Oh, there's gonna be a stun catching the Ogre. That is such a tanky farmed Ogre, though. Sumail using the enchant on him as four, looking for a target. Gonna knock back Kaka. Universe on the other side of the fissure can't be of much help. And S4 continues his dominance here in the early game. Ramsey's now being chased down. Solo should have his ulti. Ramsey's trying to juke and will be able to make it back. Maybe. Ah, no tails there to try to intimidate him, giving menacing glares. Got the reload coming in as well. And there's gonna be the Reaper Psych just to slow him down. Solo's still trailing quite a bit from behind. Big target goes down. Yeah, I'm gonna get to watch the the double fight here. Echo committed. <laughs> Miracle feeling himself right there. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. Lot of smiles. In this
<laughs> you gotta love it. Yeah, well, we uh, we we heard them talking uh, on the <laughs> in the booth. Now we see the plenty of talk in all chat. And would it really be like a Dota pub if there wasn't copious amounts of all chat? I mean, there there's a couple of NA players in there, so you definitely oh, yeah. gonna get your fill of all chat. No question. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks. Things have calmed down at least for the moment. Very handy lead for Team Radiant as they're doubling up Team Dire, 18 to 9. What's the road to even if you're uh, on the side of Dire here? I think you just got to keep forcing it, man. Every time relocates up, every time split is up, you just got to go. You can't give Team Radiant the chance to farm up. Here we go. There's a drag on Kaka. Bobaka's there to help out. Uses marching machines and helps landing. As more is going to take a big stun. Miracle there to help him out again. Are you serious? Give the man an EMT license. I mean, that is one tanky ogre anyway. Yeah. You get the Wisp Tether on top of that too. I think he's even going for the hood. He's got the Ring of uh, Ringer help. Yeah, I, I didn't know there was an arc. Oh, cool. oh. Slow siege going on here. Brand is sitting in front of the tower. We've really yet to see Solo get the work either. Radiant definitely wanted to push their advantage. They're running mostly as a group now. I mean, that is one broke panda. He is not getting blanked. <laughs> oh, he is an alcoholic. I hear they have trouble with money. That's fair. That's <laughs> work coming in. I know. It looks like they're ready to commit, but uh, not just not happening. They're slow pushing these cards. And this is kind of where the game really starts to slow down. Dire, they really want to try to abuse their ultimates as much as they can. You know, your Reaper, your Primal Splits, and just try to get kills that way. But now that the, the Tinker is kind of online, it's, it's going to become a lot more difficult for them to find objectives without kills first. Well, Kuro and his Menagerie continue to hang and look for some activity. Sitting under your own Tier 1, not the best place to be in Take a go! Oh, no. Here we We've go. all made that face. Is there a lasso and a laser? There we go. We're going to have no tail in some trouble. Trying to make it down the low ground. There's a side just to stun out. S4 for a minute. Universe there trying to follow it up. Surprisingly, both no tail and Universe are alive right now. Tanky as those heroes are. Now in the down in the river, we got some trouble. This miracle finally being punished for his sins in the eyes of the Radiant. And that's just going to be the only one they can get still having trouble tracking down the rest. No they're walking into this march. Yeah, um, they're tanky. I don't know that they're that tanky. Yeah, we're going to see another drop as the Necro's down. And Universe is going to be spotted out. Flame broken back up to the high ground. Solo there trying to help him. Not a whole lot of help he can lend though. Ramses gets eyes on him. Chin's right behind. Solo trying to delay Sue Mail as well. There's going to be the Fissure and a Dubs oh, catch of the Universe. Oh, Fissure caught by his own teammate. That's a triple kill for Sue Mail, by the way. Doesn't matter what role he plays, man. He's just going to perform every single time. It doesn't look like they're done yet. Kuro's got his army. They're quite low, though. Excellent. Is he actually going to get counter kills? <laughs> yeah. Multi cast. And now Kaka in trouble as well. He's going to try to make a run once again. The Fissure on point. Miracle there to help him out once again. And turns it back around. Looking for the stun, S4. Last one left hanging. See a bunch of creeps moving around. Uh, no lasso though. It's kind of hard to commit to this. No Echo Sun. That looks like he wants to go in. Uh, he's going to go in. Enchant Totem, Fissure, and yes, one last one. Dominating streak for CML. Could come to an end here. He's going to try to TP out and he waves goodbye. He's out of there. See ya! Still Team Dire on the clock here. No Tail picking up the Radiance very early. It's going to help him kind of stay, I would say, ahead of the curve in regards to farm. They're going to need him to get gigantic this game. There you go. There's a replay there. Sumel trapping in his own teammate on his way to a triple kill. And No Tail. Yeah, I'm going to check his pants. Kuro's happy, though. Kuro remembering his hubris chasing down that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. 
realizing the mistakes that he's made in his life. <laughs> Celebration for killing Ah, oh, you know, just normal to play Medusa. Yeah, it's just another day at the office, you know. I've only been killing us. Very good pickup there for Team Dyer. I mean, this Necro's kind of getting out of control. They're going to have to do something to address him sooner or later. Yeah, you're right. I just noticed he's almost a thousand ahead in overall network, catching up very, very quickly. And yeah, the kill count is still very lopsided in favor of Team Radiant, but really we're starting to see a lot of signs of life out of, out of Dire. If you're Radiant, really what are your, your goals outside of kill dudes and bang towers? What are you looking to do uh, to make sure that they don't continue with this momentum? I mean, they still can always go for the plan of just, you know, delay. Delay forever, march all the towers, get your Batrider blank, all that, all that good stuff. They can always go for that. They have the Tinker, they have the Deuce of Late Game. But I don't know if Team Dire are going to really let them do that. Or at least they shouldn't. Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. Radiant's top tower is in bad shape. I will split! Radiant's mid tower is gone hard. My thrift rewarded. He carries from every role. Yeah, I kind of was thinking the same thing. We could see we had a big to-do here in the jungle. Big Echo Slam from Sumail, like you said. Carrying no matter what position he happens to find him. So yeah, that's exactly <laughs> for it. Bottom tower. What a player, man. <laughs> 27 to 13. That's 40 kills, if I can still count. 23 minutes in, I would say this is action-packed enough for even the most bloodthirsty fan at home or here in Key Arena. And Team Dyer is trying to find a way to get back in. A nice little kill on Kuro certainly helps. Hell. Fisher on point. And he's taking a lot of damage. Oh, he's going to be caught. Oh, he's going to get a little bit of damage up, but will end up dropping when all said and done. No tail now. Waddling around through the middle of all this mess. He actually reloaded him out of the Yules. <laughs> Carrier almost going down. I mean, at this point, it's it's still Radiant's lead, but you can tell that Dyer are really trying to pick up the pace. They want to try to force fights whenever they can. Yeah, it's about that time. I mean, the Medusa is just going to continue to get more and more far. As good as a very well-farmed Necrophos can be, I'll take a, a well-farmed late gate Medusa in most situations. So. You know, we're now solidly into the mid-game, 24 minutes in, and you can feel there's a little bit of a clock here. I mean, certainly nowhere near calling it for either side, but like you said, Dyer's got a lot of, a lot of work they need to get done over the next 10 to 15 minutes. 
As long as they can utilize the splits effectively during fights, I think they still have a chance to be able to take it. But it's going to get more and more difficult as time goes on. Looks like both teams relatively content to farm, although good deal. Oh, he blinked right into him. Yep. Robica spotted by Notel. It seems like every time you hear Notel talk, it's Tinker here. I mean, he's on the hunt. <laughs> Wants to take out Bobica. That's like probably the, the highest priority kill besides Dusa. Maybe even some way it's more important to kill a Tinker at this point, just so you can actually hit a tower. Yeah, that would be nice. I don't know. We we did see them walk into a couple of marching machines without much yeah. effort. The universe continuing to try to find some farm as well. He's still sitting down in the bottom half of the overall network chat tab, though. You know, he's he's got the he's got the lads. But he's going to need quite a bit more. Now we're going to have, yep, a follow-up and a nice kill, bringing down Solo. Zumail once again on the warpath. Dude, look at his farm. This is some support Earthshaker, apparently, and he's got Blink Arcane's Yules at uh, 26 minutes. Not too bad. Dude, this takes me back to, like, the It's Ghost and Lovely Madness days when Midas Shaker is, like, pretty core carry stuff. We're already kind of back in that meta. Mid Shaker's been <laughs> a thing for a little while now. See if they want to try to follow up a little bit here. Still showing his shit here on the on the front line, taking a lot of damage. Just half his health gone in a flash. So, would imagine they're gonna disengage. I am my one line in the top tower.
the dire weren't far from the man. in on the replay. So yeah, good Fisher catches a couple. They're going to follow it up and Sumail just continuing to do work. Urkel brought down from distance by Bobokan Universe. He said he yuled him and he yuled him. He said he stunned him and he stunned him. Then they killed him. Bobokan getting both on a dominating streak. Starting to get a little out of control here. Ingredient running away with the game. Hitting tier fours. He always had a flair for the not dramatic game. The so gas blew out of hand. Tier threes, 33 minutes. Tier fours, rather. So we can see re-engagement solo and company trying, Dyer desperately trying to keep this game going just a little bit longer. Miracle giving chase to Kuro. They are not able to chase him down as he'll make it away safely. And a uh, couple of follow-up kills going the way of Dyer. So three to one in that exchange. See no tail going in straight away, gets burst super heavily. Sumail, super late TP, we're gonna see it here in just a second, says he's coming in. I think he gets like a four-man echo slam. Yep, here. that's a three, two, one, four-man echo. That's a juicy one. 